we're talking about two very um, major features of NextThink's uh, solution suite here, and both of them are huge. But let's go back um, first to basically what I think you're presenting um, is is the promise of agentic AI, right? And 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 we've been promised agents. Uh, we've been promised them for some time now, and we keep being told that they're coming. But I haven't actually seen them um, operating in the wild quite like uh, NextThink is doing. Can you just quickly talk a little bit about you know how how that why it's hard to do and how you're able to do it at this point? So basically, Spark Spark has been given a standard operating procedure that essentially gives it you know tells it you're going to be having conversations for support, right? You're going to have available actions, right? This is typically what makes up an agent. You have, you have context, you have data, you have tools at your hand. So that's how we enabled Spark from a high level. Then you think about as the reason this can be successful, and I actually understand AI pretty well. There's a lot of, it's very, very powerful. It's amazing stuff, but also has some shortcomings, you know, that some limitations that can get quite frustrating. And I think NextSync has done a tremendous job on circumventing these things, like the amount of context that it can have to do something, right? It, there's only so much that it can look into to gain that context. And then you saw some examples in here where if it does something incorrectly or good, give it that feedback. That's a tr that's a huge. That helps you. That helps uh, change behavior, frame the way Spark understands the organization, the way it should behave in the organization. I think if you think about that too, there's all these different types you can provide feedback. It could be maybe it did everything it should have correctly in that conversation, but maybe you didn't like the tone. This allows you as an organization to shape that uniquely for your organization. Um, I think that's what it comes down to. I think a few of the features that I showed, they, they're they clearly designed to circumvent the the kind of shortcomings that you deal with AI. And, and this is only the first product. It's gonna it's gonna grow from years, but um, pretty, pretty awesome first, you know, version of the solution. Yeah, and to add, to add, add on to that, right, uh, it's this almost like a triangular uh, combination. So it's the foundational knowledge that NextLink has provided already to Spark, right? It's the fact that we are experts in the IT industry. We continue to gather all this data. We've been looking for and trading Spark uh, for, you know, months and months now um, and now have it in customer hands. That paired with individual processes by enterprises, right? Uh, so how do I ensure that, you know, knowledge bases um, and other key resources are pushed into Spark from a particular enterprise and every single iteration of Spark is tailored to the actual organization um, that is involved with. It's not utilizing information from outside organizations. Your Spark version is your Spark. Um, and then pair that with, you know, once again, with what Kevin was saying with continuous feedback and learning, and now all of a sudden you have this kind of um, all-encompassing agent that is able to not only assess the situation, but assess the situation with your information and how you want things done, um, and then previous learning. So it's very powerful. Yeah, the, and and the demonstration uh, by by basically porting it into uh, teams and and showing how that can be um, converse with uh, in such a a seamless um, you know, regular business process uh, is is very very compelling, and and it begins to interact with us in a way that uh, allows us to become more efficient and 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 ultimately deliver uh, deliver our jobs more efficiently, more effectively. Um, without necessarily uh, replacing us completely, <laughs> but so so that's fascinating. So I so I I love Spark. Spark is interesting, but uh, let's let's talk about Drive for a second because this is a completely different problem. Now you've got um, you know what's what Spark is doing is is kind of delivering AI at uh, at kind of the you know collaborative level, uh, but what Drive is doing feels to me like it's really taking stock of, uh, of how people are using AI across the board and trying to make sense of it. So again, walk, walk us through a little bit of the, of the logic here and what your customers are asking for and, and, and kind of why you're developing this sort of approach. 
there's no one out there offering something like this. I think you can individually look into some of these tools, maybe find some of this data. It's not going to be probably all in the same location though. Right. And, and what we're doing is we're giving you a single pane of glass to look at everything in scope. So it gives you the insights from everything, not just an individual tool. And I think one of the biggest values that I kind of showcased here is it just helps you gain insights into this. Like through the prompt analysis, we can understand what are they asking? And that helps you understand, well, maybe, um, co maybe chat GPT is being used most for image generation or some of these other things. So it's about unlocking, not just the data, but the insights from that data. And that's what NextSync has been aimed to do, you know, um, endpoint wise in the DEX landscape. And we're doing this now to, you know, the entire AI adoption and usage in organizations. and organizations. That's ultimately why you can do it, right? Because you are at that DEX level. Um, so you do have access to that activity and you can see what's going on. And ultimately that is the, the challenge with any organization is do you have visibility into everybody's behavior? We, we are uniquely positioned. And I think about the, the data that's being collected and then utilized, right? So, you know, Kevin walked through the different components of it. There's the hard usage metrics, right? Hey, how many people are utilizing, utilizing this? How often are they utilizing this? How does that compare to other organizations of a similar size? So on and so forth. You marry that with some of the kind of uh, the prompted data as well to be able to say, okay, now I know how much it's being utilized. Now with the prompt pieces, I know what it's being utilized for. And then the engagement side and the sentiment side is really, okay, how do I make better sense of that and guide people to ensure that we're utilizing it in the most effective way? So um, there's just so much opportunity to be able to kind of complete the picture uh, moving forward and ensure that, you know, that value is realized because the dots are being connected. If your business would like to be featured in a future event, contact us today.